Guys, welcome back to my vlog. Where to? Today is part one of Galicia. Galicia for me is the most beautiful part in Spain. There's so much nature, so much uncrowded spots and a lot of good waves to surf. It's an area which needs to be discovered. There's so much potential in it and most of the people don't know the places. I talk about some places where you can go surfing but I won't talk about the secret spots because the people which live in there have the paradise in front of their door and they should keep it like that. So I just talk about some places, enjoy it. At first, when you come from Asturias into Galicia, there's a long stretch coast with a lot of cliffs and it's a pretty nice surf just in front of there. It's called Reinante and it's a small, it's not even a village, it's more like houses next to each other on a cliff coast and there are a lot of good waves in front. There are some places where you can park your camper van just in front of the beach. You will have an awesome view on the beach and you will enjoy the sound of the sea in the night. It's an awesome surf in there. It's a super clean and hollow wave. It's kind of fast, but it's also for beginners. It's for beginners, advanced and professionals. More in the front is more for the beginners. You can, you can just enjoy surfing, learn surfing in the white water, but you also can learn to surf your first green waves. And for the professionals and advanced, it's like sometimes it's barreling and it's an awesome place to surf. So the whole coast is like, I don't know, 10, 15 kilometers from Reynante to Foss. Mm -hmm. And Foss is the next city. It's not that easy to sleep in there. Also a nice beach, but it only breaks on bigger days. But the whole coast, you can park like everywhere. Just travel the coast like there's 10 kilometers. It's a street close to the sea and you can you can see the waves from the street and just decide where you want to go in. It's a pretty nice place. There's not a lot around for the night. It's just more like chilling and surfing and having some nice nights uh, drinking a beer, but it's really worth the go there. Then there is coming that north coast of Galicia. I don't want to talk about it too much because there are so many places which needs to be discovered and which are secret spots. Just take your van, have a look and discover the waves by yourself. It's really worth to do it. I just want to talk about Rodo, also called Pantin. It's one of the most popular surfing spots in Galicia. There are also some contests in, uh, in the winter time and it's a pretty nice place. It's more for advanced and professionals because the waves are a little bit bigger than elsewhere. Even if it's somewhere flat, you can find bigger waves in there. And it's uh, really packed and crowded because it's one of the most popular spots. So it's every time full of people and uh, like every time, Respect the locals, there's some kind of localism. If you're paddling as a stranger, you will get some, I don't know, not really problems, but they won't, they won't like it. But just try it. If you behave uh, in a good way, they will give you some waves. But in the beginning, it's always uh, not that easy to, to, to catch a wave, but it's really worth to surf it. Just check it out because it's easy to camp there. It's a nice place and you can sleep directly at the beach and it's pure nature around. Further south, there's Razzo. Razzo is a really, really wide, wide stretch open beach break. It's kilometers long and you can park everywhere you want, you can sleep there. I heard about car crime during surfing so look up for your car but normally there happens nothing. To me there happens never ever something so it was like it was a nice surf and uh, the waves are from beginners to advanced to professionals. You have everything. It's a really open beach break means there are some different kind of peaks and uh, you can have the smaller waves in the front, you can have the bigger waves in the back and it depends on the swell because it's it's so open and northwest faced it's uh, it gets a lot of swell so it's all most swell magnet means when it's small somewhere else go there check it out and uh, you can have an awesome surf you can park your camper van directly on the dunes so when you arrive there you can see there are a lot of camper vans staying somewhere in the dunes or somewhere on some small parking places and just uh, put your van next to it and sleep there there's no problem the police never came until now and uh, during the night there's not a lot of going on it's uh, like more quiet and calm spot but there are some restaurants and there are some bars where you can go for food and go for a beer at night but it's not like a party town or something like that but it's a, it's a really nice nice place 
and when you are there just uh, drive up a little bit uh, to the west of the beach and there from there you have a spectacular view over the whole beach and it's like it's fascinating to have that view. So the next which is coming is Malpica. Malpica is a small fishing town. It's uh, not easy to park there. There's a parking place just in front of the beach but you cannot park there during the night. So the police is coming and will tell you hey you have to leave but park there during the day and uh, enjoy yourself because the waves are amazing. They are super clean sometimes pretty huge. It's more like advanced to professional and yeah in the front you can surf the white water waves as a beginner as well but it's not a really beginner friendly spot but it's an awesome small little town there's a lot of stuff going on you can go for small parties for a beer for everything and uh, the nature around it is also pretty good enjoy it even if you just want to take some pictures of awesome waves Malpica the next one is Trava. Trava is an open beach break, which means there are a lot of different peaks. It's from beginners to professionals, there's everything. It's not the perfect wave in there, but that means it's not really crowded. Normally you are just one or two guys in the water, you can park directly in front of the beach, you can sleep there, no one says anything. It's like enjoying the nature, enjoying the mountains in the back, the beach in the front and have the surf spot for your own. It's not the most perfect wave, but there are some really, really good waves during the day that you can, that you can surf. For me it's a spot where I always go and stay there one, two nights because it's really chilled and calm in there. Like always, when you went down the coast or up the coast, it doesn't matter, you will find a lot of hidden places and like I told you, Galicia is a place which needs to be discovered and there's a lot to discover. If you have time, just drive down the coast, have a look, there are beaches everywhere, hidden beaches, hidden waves, sometimes there are no people at all, just check it out. I won't tell you the places because there are secret spots and we want to keep the secret spots secret, yeah, and that's the name of it and uh, the reason is... Um, Discover it and have a look because it's amazing, amazing, amazing.